This video is sponsored by MediaTek. Projectors are a great way to get a larger than life picture when watching TV and movies or for an incredible game night. I've been keeping an eye on the compact smart projector space over the past couple of years and it's gotten really good. Today we're focusing on this guy right here. This is the XJimmy Horizon Pro which is powered by MediaTek. It's a smart projector that left me pleasantly surprised. If you're interested in checking it out, I'll have a link down in the description below. Let's get started with the premium design. The XJimmy Horizon Pro measures just 8.2 by 8.6 by 5.4 inches and weighs in at 6.6 .6 pounds, making it an easily portable entertainment device. First, that MediaTek chip provides the technological backbone for things like increased brightness at 2200 ANSI lumens, the up to 300 inch picture size. It also offers eye protection from blue light exposure, DTS surround sound, and keeps Android TV 10 running smoothly. The Horizon Pro is one of the smallest projectors I've ever used. It's basically a cube with rounded corners that's just under six inches tall and a bit over eight inches wide and deep. There's a fine grill that goes completely around the front and sides with a vent on the back. The lens is offset to one side on the front with a sensor array on the other side. And on top, you'll find a power button and keys for volume and playback. Also, as it pertains to premium from a software perspective, XJimmy has a no advertising pitch, which means you're not gonna find ads plastered all over the interface like you'll find on even the most expensive smart TV sets. So this is refreshing at a time when ads are increasingly polluting the smart TV viewing experience. And when it comes to ports, you get two HDMI with audio return channel support, a LAN port, optical audio, two USB ports, an audio jack and power. As for wireless, you get 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz Wi-Fi support along with Bluetooth connectivity, which does also let you use the Horizon Pro as a Bluetooth audio speaker as well. XJimmy's brushed aluminum remote control is also a nice surprise. The remote looks as good as its weighted design feels in the hand. It includes only a minimal set of controls, but you're not gonna feel like you're missing anything. From the top down, you'll find a built-in mic, button for power, a settings button, and a dedicated Google Assistant button. Below the D-pad are buttons for back, menu, home, volume, and focus. It's not rechargeable like other XJimmy remotes, so be sure you have a pair of AAA batteries when it's time to replace them. Next, let's talk about the built-in artificial intelligence. The Horizon Pro's integrated AI makes setup simple. Turn it on and point the lens at a wall or projector screen, and XJimmy's spatial algorithms will detect any obstacles and calculate what it thinks is the ideal picture size, location, and image brightness. The whole detection process takes less than 15 seconds when you first boot it up and about 10 seconds when you turn it on after that. The automatic screen adaption is close to magical at times and simplifies a process that can be laborious on other projectors even when XJimmy gets things wrong. The Horizon Pro drops you into a manual keystone mode after every automatic attempt in order to let you position the screen exactly where you want it, even at some fairly extreme angles. The Horizon Pro can level the picture when tilted on its side by as much as 45 degrees with a keystone correction of plus or minus 40 degrees on the horizontal and vertical axis. It should also be said that those extreme angles will create elongated light shadows around the keystone corrected image. It's an unfortunate side effect of the Horizon Pro's DLP engine having to project black pixels of light onto the wall where the projected image naturally falls. This overflow of light can be distracting when viewing dark scenes in very dark rooms, so it's best to use as little keystone correction as possible. One more thing on AI, MediaTek's MT9612 SoC handles all the heavy lifting on the AIPQ and AIAQ. This means that in real time, you're getting AI picture quality and audio quality enhancements that work to automatically give you the best picture and sound experience when viewing content. Next, let's talk picture quality. Brightness is measured in ANSI lumens and is one of the most critical measurements of any projector, especially one capable of 4K and HDR, that being HDR10 and HLG, but no Dolby Vision here. Xjimmy lists the Horizon Pro at 2200 ANSI lumens, which is bright, especially for a portable DLP projector, 
but not anything close to what a modern LCD or OLED TV can produce. So as such, contrast and HDR content suffer by comparison. So for me, unless it's nighttime, I need to set the projector to the brightest mode, which is limited to a size of about 60 inches in order to compress those lumens into a tighter rectangle. However, in darkened rooms, the Horizon Pro impressively comes to life. Those 2200 lumens provide enough contrast to make 4K HDR content pop, while the MediaTek chip on the inside makes sure those scenes have the brighter picture and enhanced contrast that you'd expect. It also does a good job with 1080p and 720p content in my testing, which is great because it's still the majority of content out there. The Ryzen Pro comes with four optimized image modes. Movie mode includes 60 hertz MEMC motion compensation, and I disabled that right away. Football mode is designed for fast paced sports. There's an office mode, which is optimized for presentations, and game mode is meant to reduce lag for consoles connected to the Horizon Pro's two HDMI inputs. Now, when it comes to gaming, the XGME Horizon Pro won't give you the fastest response for super competitive gaming, as its input latency is around 35 milliseconds, which is above the 25 milliseconds that's generally recommended for gaming on TVs, and its HDMI ports are version 2.0. So you don't get HDMI 2.1's gaming focus features like support for variable refresh rates. But those specs should be more than good enough if you just want to project a 200 inch screen onto your wall for some single player gaming or some Mario Kart with your friends. The Horizon Pro uses Android TV to stream media from Disney+, YouTube, Apple TV+, Amazon Prime Video, Plex, HBO Max, and many more that you'll find on the Google Play Store. But one service you won't find here is Netflix. This is because Netflix requires its own certification process due to its proprietary Open Connect program that works with ISPs to make Netflix streams more efficient. Now, while XJimmy is applying for certification, don't expect anything in the immediate future. However, there is an alternative. You can cast Netflix from a smartphone or tablet directly to the projector thanks to the Horizon Pro's built-in Chromecast feature. You can also use the Google Assistant to control your smart devices, search for content, and launch your favorite apps with your voice. Next, we've got to talk about sound. The sound produced by the Horizon Pro is good, not just compared to what you'd normally get from projector speakers, but also in relation to the Bluetooth speaker you typically want to use with portable devices. Seriously, the sound produced by the two integrated 8-watt Harman Kardon speakers sounds really good. Now, obviously, we're not talking home theater quality, but again, there's an optical audio out port for that. It's good enough that you won't feel compelled to carry an extra speaker around should you take the projector outside for a backyard movie night or if you take it on the go. Now, there are three preset sound modes available, which are aimed at movie, music, and sports. The audio can be further refined with a volume balance setting and a DTS studio toggle to enable a virtualized surround sound audio experience that's meant to enhance dialogue and bass. I personally used movie mode and left it there because I didn't find the differences between the modes to be enough to warrant manually changing the sound all the time. Now, $16.99 is a lot to spend on anything, but if you're looking for a way to create a great looking 200 inch screen that basically sets itself up thanks to the built-in MediaTek SoC powering the AI features with good sound and all the smart apps you could want, except Netflix, the XGME Horizon Pro is the best projector for the price. Let me know what you think. Are you thinking about a projector or do you use projectors now? Or are you sticking with the typical TV set? Drop it in the comments below and I'll meet you for further discussion. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webbers, and I will catch you in the next video.